Hi, this is Tech Guy DK, and um, today I am going to try to fix my air compressor. Uh, it has uh, a problem. I think it's in the pressure regulator. It is uh, leaking air uh, when it is uh, trying to compress, and uh, even if it manages to compress and fill the tank, it's still uh, it's still leaking. So. Um, I think uh, it's the air pressure regulator that is uh, has become defective, and so I'm I'll try to replace it and see if I can get my uh, my air compressor working again. So um, I got, I'm gonna need some tools and uh, a spare part, and I have that uh, here. the The spare part is uh, is this uh, regulator here. It's uh, it's one like this. It's a fairly cheap spare part. I think I paid around twenty dollars for it, um, twenty-five perhaps. So, uh, but that's uh, that's the one that uh, that fits uh, fits my air compressor. So, I have to uh, remove the old one and uh, and and put this one in. Uh, in order to uh, to disassemble the the old one, I need some tools. I've uh, found out that a few of these wrenches and stuff will uh, do it. And I'll also need some uh, isolation tape to uh, when for when I reconnect the pipes, so that they will be uh, airtight. And so uh, let's get started. And uh, let's start by looking at the compressor itself. So. Here it is. It's a uh, it's a fairly small compressor. It's uh, one and a half uh, horsepower, and it uh, has a tank of uh, 25 liters. Um, so uh, that's what I'm going to try to fix. So we can try to zoom in a bit. You see, it's the it's the regulator here that I'm going to replace, and. Uh, I'll try to see if I can get all the pipes off and uh, get the new one mounted. I will start with the pressure pressure switch here. That is uh, where you adjust the pressure you want to your pressure to your uh, to the tool you have connected. So but that went pretty easy. So that's the first part. Then it's the uh, safety valve I have to take out. Pretty easy as well. Then the pressure gauge. I think it's. I've been using uh, 14 millimeter wrenches until now. And it also fits the pressure gauge. different because it's square. The other ones have, have these... Uh, can I find the camera here? The other ones have this uh, these normal... Uh, can I get it to focus? No? Okay. But you get what I mean. It's, uh, it's a normal uh, hex hexagonal uh, fault that is uh, here. So, but the other one is square.
is that one. It's a lot of old isolation material here. That doesn't matter. I'm gonna replace that that one. There's also uh, a small uh, pressure pipe that goes from the tank down here up to the pressure regulator, and I had to uh, to dismount that as well. That's a smaller smaller one. I'll try uh, number twelve. of a pressure mount uh, so I'm not gonna need to use the, uh, the isolation tape there so um, next thing is to uh, to get all the cables off uh, for well, we have two kind of cables there's one uh, that goes to uh, to the wall plug and then there is uh, the other cables that go to the uh, to the compressor so that this one can turn the compressor on and off. So uh, I just have to uh, to find out where these wires go and uh, take them off. I'm going to try to look at the, the new one. Um, if I look at this one here, I can see that um, there's a screw in the top there I need to get off so I just have to find the screwdriver and, uh, and take that off ok, it's recording again so I find the screwdriver, it's normal clips and uh, I will try to take this off actually the one holding the pressure down okay so I'll just have to uh, disassemble the original one and see uh, where the wires go take the camera off the tripod so that you can can see what it looks like okay so here you can see the uh, the original regulator and this is this is the wire that comes from the power plug and comes in through the hole there and the ground wire is going up there and um, let's see <coughs> the new one the new one is here and it's identical so it's not going to be a problem to to mount the wires the right way and um, what we can see here it's not marked so uh, you just have to remember and it, what it says here on 
is that the it, it's neutral on the top and live on the bottom and the neutral here is the brown wire and the the, the power okay it's it's different this one power on the upper one face on the other one and neutral on the lower one okay so I guess we have to uh, switch them around so that on the old one it's brown on the top and blue on the bottom and here we will have to, on the new one we will have to put the blue on the top and the brown on the bottom so that it it matches up it's really strange because it's exactly the same one so perhaps it doesn't really matter but um, okay so I will uh, dismount these wires and uh, take it from there It's exactly the same on the other side. It has face on the top and neutral on the bottom and also the, the ground here. Just get need to get the wires off the out of the um, the housing. Because you have to make sure that there's no pressure in the tank when you do this. Um, this one is leaking and there's no air pressure in it and that's of course very important. Normally there's a small valve in the bottom of the tank that you can, you can, uh, you can loosen a bit in order for the yeah, to, go, to get out. You could also just uh, release the pressure valve. I think the one I showed you before, this one, if you just pull that out, the, it will really release the pressure from the from the tank. So now everything is off. That's cool. Now I just need to get this one off 
There's actually a counter screw on the on this one, so I had to turn it the other way around uh, to release it from the pressure uh, regulator. So um, I think I can get it off now. So the the bottom screw I actually had to turn off, or actually downwards, so that it got released from this one. And then uh, hopefully I can turn this. Ah, it's moving. What you can see here is so a bit. So what you can see here is that this this screw actually had to be turned down in order for it to release. It's a counter screw that just prevents this one from uh, from turning by accident. So um, it's all well. So, but now I got this one off, and um, we'll try to mount the new one. So the new one here. Uh oh. Can you see the difference? This is the new one. It has a bigger hole. So, um, yeah, I'm going to need a fitting to fit in between those two because this one will not go on there. This one is too small for this. So, I need to get the uh, Thing that I could put, put on here and uh, and put in there. So this one is not going to be fixed right now. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to find that fitting and uh, then I'll have to carry on uh, from there. So that's gonna be in part two. Um, I don't think it's it's a bank holiday today, so uh, I, I don't think I'm gonna get be able to get the fitting today. Um, but I'll try, uh, otherwise I'll just uh, give you this video first and then uh, a follow-up video later when I have the uh, fitting. So let's see how it goes, but uh, bye for now and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be showing all kinds of different stuff like this and uh, mostly I think computer stuff and uh, electronic stuff um, because that's what I do most and um, yeah like and subscribe and uh, see you next time bye